Should you get the fluke or should you get the Klein? This one's 50 bucks. This one's 80 bucks before you say, well, what's wrong with getting a circuit breaker finder that works most of the time, maybe not all the time. What's wrong with that? If you're a professional, you can't afford to be turning off the wrong circuits. It's that simple. So in this video, we're going to show you the accuracy of this cheaper Klein, the ET310. And then we're also going to be comparing this with the Fluke. Now this is the BK120. I just noticed something. This has NCV and it looks like it's going to be more, uh, more precision is what I'd like to say, not sensitive. Sensitive can be a bad thing. Precision is a great thing. So this looks like it's going to be better accuracy. Let's find out which one you guys should buy. Also, before we get into the video, I want to point out that I did have an ideal circuit tracer and I really, really like that thing. It was way better than the client circuit tracer. So this video is not sponsored. I've purchased all this myself. Let's get into it. We'll go ahead and use the climb one. I'll show you how to use it, how to plug it in and uh, turn it on and all that stuff. I'd like to point out this quick button, this one quick click turns this thing on. It's not a hold. And it's a hold to turn it off. For me, that's a problem. Uh, I, I These things are so easy to bump. And it seems like these things never have batteries when you need them. Let's go try it out. Now, what is nice about the Klein here is that it's got the storage on the back side here. So uh, while it does make it extra bulky and kind of stupid, it's also convenient, I guess. Um, I don't need it personally, but you might find that cool if you're a handyman. Uh, is the middle? Yes, the middle, the middle, is, middle says open ground. This thing has no ground. I didn't wire the house, so I guess this thing has no ground. <laughs> okay, well, this would be good. Well, we're going to see the accuracy of both of these. So we've got an open ground. Let's go see what we can find at the panel. All right, we got our panel here. My guess is going to be the living room. Let's find out. We're going to start at the left. We're going to cycle through all of our breakers like this, all the way down. We're going to go back up. Come back down here. Seems to think it's the living room. Definitely dead on the living room. No other beeps. No other beeps. Pretty accurate. Let's try let's try the bathroom. Let's go plug this in somewhere else. Okay, this one is wired correctly. Let's go see. Now I would like to note before I wired this panel, uh, my old panel was very inaccurate for circuit tracing, so this seems to help when you have a better panel. My other panel was a complete nightmare. So it's beeping on the living. We're gonna get, go, go through them all. All the way down, all the way back up. Let's see what we can find. It says it's the living room. Potentially the kitchen plug. It's not the bath. It's not the master bath. It says living room, let's find out. We're actually gonna turn this one off this time. Okay, it was not the living room, so that's, there's Klein tools for you. Let's try again. All right, back at the panel. Go ahead and turn it back off. Turn it back on. Kitchen plug, dishwasher, living room, washer, kitchen plug. Let's just, let's just go through like we're supposed to. Thinks it's the kitchen plug. We're gonna keep going. I honestly, I don't remember which one it is. This thing is performing so horribly. Uh, this is that after we're done using the fluke, because I don't know how this is going to perform. We're actually gonna give you guys a treat and show you how a great circuit tracer breaker finder works. So the pro tip of the day is don't put alkaline batteries in your testers and stuff because the batteries are more likely to leak than lithium ions. So this will just be temporarily and then I'll be getting some lithium so they don't 
ruin my tools that I don't use all the time. NCV, we got a little blue light there. That's kind of, oh, we got a little light there too. It's kind of nice. Um, NCV, breaker finder. We'll have to look at the instructions for a second. All right, so we got a five minute auto off feature. That is very cool. We got some toning noises, one tone, two tones, uh, light, low battery, put the batteries in, means no voltage. Purple means you're getting close. Red means you found it. Blue, no voltage. That's just like the LVD2. I actually like that a lot. This this actually looks really promising of a NCV. This might actually be my favorite NCV if it acts like the LVD2. Easy to find. And then this is one thing I'm going to say about these is that they're very large. So they don't fit in bubble covers very easily, bell boxes, things like that. So as an inspector, I was working at Chick-fil-A uh, doing an inspection. This barely fit in their boxes because they had their boxes all enclosed. So I look like an unprepared idiot um, that had no experience when I went there because my plug tester didn't even fit in their box. When in reality, I just wanted to try this thing out. And that was before... I had this whole kit. I only had just this one thing for like six bucks at Lowe's whenever they were getting rid of all that. But now I know this goes with this. So this is forgivable, but it's still a very large unit and you could run into problems. Just heads up. Now, most of these tracers, you got to hold horizontally. I understand that, but this one didn't really have any arrows indicating that. So I've used the other Klein ones, the earlier versions. And yes, you did have to hold them sideways. This one gives you no indication of the such. I did lose the instructions, but if you're going to hold a horizontal, you should, it should say it on here. The instructions right here say to hold this one, so we will go back and we'll check the. We'll do this one one more time, holding it sideways. Let's see what it's got. I'm just going to say, if you're not supposed to hold this like this, they have this handle completely wrong. But here we go. Okay. Start at the main. Going all the way down. Up in there, all the way down, nothing there, see if we can find it, still thinks it's the living room, keep going, does not think it's that, killed the living room breaker, now it thinks it's the kitchen plug usually, let's see, still does not beep there. We've we, we tried every way, guys. Uh, kill the kitchen plug. Turn it off. Turn the kitchen plug back on. Turn this on. Come on, come on. Not even close. Not even close. Turn that back on, what happens? I'm sorry if you guys are tired of watching this, but uh, you know what? I've given it every chance. Now I think it's just a washer. We know it's that breaker, so this is out. Okay, let's just go straight to uh, tracing because we're not going to mess with the NCV right yet. We're just going to straight to tracing, see how this thing works, and we'll try out the NCV. This video is going on for long enough. This thing has already wasted so much time. First thing we're going to do is plug this in here on this one, just like we did before. Open ground, just like we saw before. We're going to unplug this just because it's a transmitter and it doesn't need to be confusing this fluke. Okay, turn it on. Let's go up here where we always start. Keep going. All right, so circuit's still off. Let's go, well, let's see the light. One button is the light. The light is pretty damn good, actually, damn. 
That is very good. I want to see the NCV. Is this circuit on? No, the circuit's off. Okay. That's uh. Okay, bathroom plug. Okay, here we are at the panel. Turn it on. Let's go through here. Nope. Nope. Yeah, way, way better. Way better accuracy. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna do it again. Just to make sure. Let's see if we can stop it and see if we can trick it. We're gonna go straight to this right there and then we're gonna go straight to here. And then we're gonna go straight to here, which before the climb wouldn't even beep like this. It wouldn't even. Oh, now it knows. Now it knows. Oh God, the phone. We're still good. We're still, we're still good. It knows now. Look over here. Bam. We can't even trick it. It's like, no, dude, I'm not stupid. Look at this. We'll leave it on. We'll confuse this thing. Bam. So anyone saying that I wasn't operating the climb properly and I was doing this and that and, 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 and all that stuff. You can see where it does make a difference if you're holding it horizontally. I want to point that out, but the Klein still failed on, on all the accounts. And then this thing's just like dead on, dude. It's just good. Got to turn it on first. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Blue, purple, found it. This side's the neutral. This side's the hot. This side's the neutral. Pretty darn accurate, I'm gonna tell you that right now. That works good. I still like my LVD2 more. LVD2 is right here, same concept. Uh, here you go here, so no voltage, voltage, purple when you get close. Same idea, but less, less beeping. All right, now the best one of them all, ET450. All right, here we go, so we're gonna turn this on. So what I did was just use one meter lead to get that in there. 120 volts, we're energized. I had to stagger them this way because the uh, the margins here. Let's get it dialed in. Level one, level two is a 99. Level one is a 60, which isn't too bad. Level 2 being 99 should be good. We should start at level 3 at the panel and then bump it down to level 1. Okay, here we are at level 3. Bouncing through. All the way down. All the way back up. Go back down here. So we're finding some 99s here at the living room. Just like the other circuit tracer. Keep going down. Okay. There's a 99 of this. Pump it down to level one or level two. We're getting a 60. We're getting a 73%. That's pretty good. Let's see what the other breakers say. Even, especially this one. So the living is not even close to 70. The kitchen plug is not even close to 70. Go here. Go back over here to the bath plug. Getting back to the 70. Let's pump it up to three. Let's just see what it does. I'm going to show you what my favorite part about this is. So even right here on the one that I thought it might be, the dishwasher, level two on the dishwasher. See, it's still not as strong. That's a 72 right there. And that's why this one's really nice, because you can clearly see what's going on with the circuit. Bump it up to level three. You're getting the 99. But that's why this is so great, because you bump it down to level two and you get that definitive accuracy that we were looking for. What do you guys think in the comments below? We'll see you guys in the next one. Sub for more.